Welcome to Pace IT's Career and Entrepreneurship Presentations. My name is Mary Keeney and this presentation covers self-assessment. We will discuss personal assessment and its importance and the traits of an entrepreneur. The reasons you want to perform a self-assessment before starting your own business include that you want to know what you don't know and what you do know. You need to know yourself. You need to see where you need to improve and what skills you might need to acquire. You also want to know what skills you need to hire to complement your own. The traits of an entrepreneur include perseverance, persistence, passion, dedication, and the ability to see past today's issues and look at the bright future ahead. There are different personality traits that each person has. They can include entrepreneur, manager, and technician. They're all important, and you might think that the weaknesses listed in the following slides are negative traits, but they are not. They're simply there to make you aware of potential issues that spring out of these personality types. The technician, for example, has qualities like a person who lives in the present, who likes to do, loves to tinker, likes to take things apart and put them back together in a better way. The weaknesses of this technician might be that they only like to do one thing at a time or they mistrust people that they work for. A manager might live in the past, is a pragmatist, an organizer, a planner, a person who craves order. The weaknesses of this might be that they compulsively cling to the status quo. They might see problems where there are none, hence the needing to fix things. An entrepreneur qualities include lives in the future, is a visionary or a dreamer, the force behind making things happen. They might see opportunities where no one else does, and they crave control and thrive on change. The weaknesses of this might be the need to control people and the environment around him or her. They might result to bullying, harassing, flattering, screaming, and making promises they can't keep. So many times a person is all three, but they may have the tendency to be one more than the other. The question you need to be aware of is what are your biggest tendencies? And how can you kick the negative parts of it that you really don't need? Acknowledge it, switch gears, and move to the most appropriate type that's required at the moment. We have covered personal assessment and its importance and the traits of an entrepreneur. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.